Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Kaming's Let's Plays. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys uh, having a good night. And you're ready for more uh, of this game. So uh, tonight we're going to be doing some side quest stuff and uh, probably more of the story. So uh, let's get to that. Everything is so dark. What is this, the DC Universe? I kid, I kid. What were we doing here? We were... Speak with Natty near the Manor Cape. Oh my gosh, she's quite a ways away. Okay, natty, 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 natty. No, thank you, honey. Mmm. Yup. Alright. Uh, sorry about that, people. I was, uh... Getting ready to write ah some time codes and stuff like that. Um. So anyway, guys, your first like goal is a hundred likes. Uh, if we could get those up, that would be fantastic. I don't think there was any notification sent out for this stream. Um. So it is what it is. Uh, I've got like. 30 people here with 40 likes. Something like that. Alright. Oh, it's so bright. Why is it so bright? It's so bright in the game. I haven't used the griffin in a while. Or whatever it's called. Let's go! Come on, Highwing! Can you let's get some altitude at least. <laughs> I have a hard time flying with this bird thing. I hardly ever use this thing. I just usually use my broom. Uh, you can only get two mounts in this game. Every every mount in the game, there's uh, a, a ground mount, and then there's this bird thing. Yeah. No need to race now, my friend. Oh, I I can walk it like a horsey. Sort of. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> uh, okay, how do I get off? How do I get off? I look like I caused it pain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Why is everything so dark now? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Hmm. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. 
My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. If we're going to be fighting tons of wizards, um, I think it would be good to basically do um, our armor. I'd like to go my full armor uh, thing. Mm-hmm. And then my... Is it a hat? Or is my... Yeah. I know. Then we have a... We can use a scarf. Where's my really cool scarf? Yeah, there it is. It's, that's as knightly as a scarf as you're going to get. Dark Souls. What is the name of this quest? Uh, Harlow's Last Stand. No, that's that's okay, honey. Yeah, tomorrow's perfect. No, honey, tomorrow's perfect. Keep an eye out. Hollow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I, I didn't know. see the Suicide Squad stuff around. yet, Twin. I was gonna watch it, but uh, I was resting my eyes because I've been having issues with my eyes. My eyes aren't in severe agony. It's like I don't know how to explain it. It feels like they're restless. Um, one of my eyelids is twitching, yeah. but it just feels like I'm I'm really tired. Like I yawn a lot. I never yawn usually. I just feel blah. I don't usually feel like I just feel very sluggish, slow. I don't really know how to explain it. Oh, Dark Souls. The armor looks so Little cool. Sionai, in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests, <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Oh, that was a sucker punch. Level 31, huh? I can do better than that. 
This dude's actually a little tougher than uh, Rookwood was. Come on, people, let's get those likes up. No, the third, the third stream of the night is always difficult, honey. It didn't used to be. It used to be the fourth stream of the night was was hard to get traction. Now it's the third stream. Now it's the 10:30 stream. And probably in a year it'll be the 8:30 stream. YouTube just doesn't want us around. I don't know. Well, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Ah, there you go. Bring your friends into this. Jealous with some of these cool abilities you're able to do. I want to be able to shoot lightning and flamethrower like that. It's because I'm only a student, right? Disappearing, reappearing. Very cool. This will not end in your favor. Shall not end in your favor, eh? Right? Oh, you stinker. Ow! I love that. That is cool. Watch him. He's on fire. You just call me a muggle? That was mean. Them's fighting words. Burn, baby, burn. Be interesting to see how this game would work as like a online multiplayer game, but for a single player game, it's actually pretty good. Dang! Always disappearing and reappearing. I'll, I'll read the super chats in a second, guys and gals. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Did we get him? Oh, she got the final hit. Or not.
Quick time event. He's still alive. Oh my gosh! Did he use the killing curse? Was I... Was I not paying attention? Oh, he, he just used Crucio? She'll be fine. It's just Crucio. Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine. And it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Wow. Wow, that's uh that's pretty hardcore though. It is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... She's paralyzed? You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? Taking down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. The Avenging Gazelle. Is she actually paralyzed now? Did not see that twist coming. I didn't know Crucio could paralyze you. I thought it's just like basically being electrocuted or something. And she's no longer a wizard? Off on another adventure, are we? That's pretty tough stakes. Revenia.
Yeah, like and share the video if you haven't already, guys. There's about 70 of you guys watching with only 50 likes, so let's get those likes up. Though you guys have been uh, really nice with all the super chats. Thank you. Will I be doing a reaction video to the Suicide Squad thing? Probably not for a few days because I've been having issues with my eyes lately. So I need to get as much rest as possible so I can stream for another six hours tomorrow. I'm not doing well with my eyes right now. Please try not to use the three curses near Natty. It won't matter, but you'll... Get locked out of her quest if you do it too much. Don't use the three curses near her? Oops. Am I the reason she got paralyzed? Oops. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna do Merlin quests as well. Yeah, totally. We're gonna finish off the Merlin quests. I need sleep? I mean, maybe... I have been sleeping. I have... I have... I have been sleeping. I just... Amber says maybe I need to make up sleep for when we went to, uh... The, um... When we went to Philadelphia. I... I don't know. It could be I'm just sick. I don't know. I've had a fever for like five days now. Oops. And there's a nasty flu going around. Oops. Sorry, I'm a little delayed with my opening locks thing. Did I get it? All right, we got another Ravenclaw thing. Another Raven token, huzzah! I wonder what's going on with Ominous and company. We haven't heard much from them. Wanted to see if that dude was going to get straight up arrested or what. Man in the moons. I wish I knew where all that stuff was. Okay, so I guess we'll go back out to do Merlin then. Ah! First, the room of requirement. Blast. New glasses, Mr. Ten Years. Let's see, the last time I got new glasses was 2007, maybe? 2008. I got amber new glasses last time. Yep. And the last time I went to the dentist uh, was 2000 and... You've made marvelous improvements mm. here. Last time I went to the dentist was 2000 and... 2012 for root canal. And then I had a cleaning in 2019. I believe, yeah. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing in the rumor requirement? What do we need? Oh! No, that's not it. I need to get more of the Merlin stuff. This is the Merlin stuff. There we go. There we are. So how many Merlin quests do we have left to do? Probably not that many. 
No, I don't need that. Oh, I like the atmosphere in here. It's nice and dark. Oh. That's nice. May as well make some more potion. Everything I sound like I'm doing is evil? Uh, I'm making potions in a dark room. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm doing some pretty evil things. You won't wear them? I mean, I don't... Usually I get eye strain when I work a lot, but it, it doesn't feel like eye strain. I don't know how to explain it. It's like... It it feels like your eyes hurt, but it's not, like, immense pain. It's just, it's kind of, like, annoying. But it's like, because you have to stare at things, and you have to read things, and things are moving so quickly, it feels like it makes your eyes tired. It feels like I need, like, 20 hours of sleep or something, and then... I'll be fine, but the problem is I'm... Yeah, Amber Amber gave me a day to sleep all day, and it's like... I didn't really sleep much. I just kind of kept waking up. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it is. When I had this happen to me in 2000... Because I, I went through something similar to like this in 2010 when I was still a game journalist. And I actually had to go to PAX uh, the week it happened. So all I did was I went to the gas station. I bought like some big sunglass visors to put over my eyes. And I went and did my PAX job with the, the sunglasses on. Because it limited the, the amount of light and stuff like that. So if I, if I had, like, some dark sunglasses, it would probably help a little bit. I have the house really dark right now. And I have my laptop lights turned down really low. Which is a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday everything was so bright. I was like, ah! It's too much! The pain! Uh... All right, making potions in the dark. Mwahaha. I am sus. All right. Merlin time. I feel bad about Natty. I actually like her character. She's kind of cool. She's a fellow vigilante. I like that. She She had a lot of fun stuff that she was doing. And then things didn't quite work out the way that she was anticipating. And some evil bad guy used Crucio on her, and now she's maybe paralyzed? That really sucks. She's a fellow believer in justice, and I, I liked her. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented... I think the Danish is gone, but I haven't looked up on the internet. It said It said my birthday, but now it's... Now it's the 23rd of February, so... I would so appreciate a little help. I don't know. I want to look it up because I really want that Danish. Would you mind helping a poor old witch? <laughs> if only someone would come to be aid. <sighs> Oh, Spencer's so telling people she's not paralyzed. Well, Spencer might know because Spencer's played this game pretty thoroughly. Cat! Hello, kitty. You want to be pet by the Dark Souls character? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good kitty. Night on the broom. Da -da 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 da 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 Wee. 
<laughs> Alright, Merlin, what do you got up your sleeve? Did you have to do the creepy sound effect noise thing? Okay, so what does this thing detail? What do you want to do, Merlin? What is that? Is this another giant ball situation? Oh. I can do that. Just have to use force push. Whoa! What is happening? Whoa! I've never seen this happen. Ah! Oh. So, wait, the ball needs to go that way? Oh no! Are you coming, ball? Huh. Well, that was relatively easy. Yep. These Merlin quests aren't that difficult no more. Sweet. That was super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. More Merlin quests. More Merlin quests. This game is seriously making me want to play Dark Souls or Elder Elden Ring again. I don't know why, it just does. Could it be a Merlin trial? What's, why is there a pit there? Revelia. The armor? I'm not a wizard, I'm a knight. Knight wizard. What what is down here? Lumos. Secret. I don't think I was supposed to come down here. Oh! Eh. Cool. Night Just 22, thank you so much for the super chat. You guys have been invaluable with the fan funding uh, the past two months. Don't know what we would do without you guys. Thank you. Lumos. No, I, I have an idea where we'd be. I just don't want to say out loud. Living in a van! Down by the river! Coming a motivational speaker! About not living in a van down by the river! I'm 38 years old. I'm 38 years old and I live in a van down by the river! Uh, I, I'm not 38 years old. I uh, get the reference, yeah. Is that cereal or is that beans? You did, you did it. Awesome. Win content creators, you all deserve it. You deserve the fan funding. Oh, you guys are sweet. Thank you. 
Oh, that noise is annoying. That noise is irritating. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, wow. We're almost done with Merlin's trials. Then what? Once you finish the Merlin trials, then what do you do? You can put the stupid wand away now. You look stupid. Oh. Am I gonna see the Mario movie? Yeah! It's the movie I'm like, everybody asks me, like, what movie are you most looking forward to this year? Mario! <laughs> Yeah! I guess the Flash, but I if somebody were, like, to give me a choice... Okay, you have two choices. See, Michael Keaton as Batman again, or the new Mario movie. Which are you gonna see? I will pay for it. You can, you know... I'd be like... I probably, without hesitation, would say Mario. Because the marketing, the way the movie has been... Portrayed the things I've heard about the test screenings uh, The things I've heard about the movie in general like all the Easter eggs to just Super Mario like everything from like the Super Mario Brothers Super Show to oh my gosh the Super Mario video games The Super Mario memes. It's just it is the ultimate Mario Like love letter to the fans. That's not a video game. I mean, there's been Mario games that have, like, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they have, like, little nods to the fans, but this is, this is a labor of love by Nintendo. The Flash movie is, like, how do I explain this? Part of the movie is a labor of love to fans of DC content, and then the other half of the movie sucks. So, <laughs> to... And the new ending is terrible. <laughs> the new ending almost kills the movie. The other ending was good. The the two they had they had four different endings. The newest ending is terrible. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's really really dumb. I hate movies with bad endings. It almost ruins the entire movie. The new ending that they just shot Almost ruins the entire thing. Whereas before, it made sense that they had Supergirl and Michael Keaton around, but now those guys are gone, probably dead. Who lived here, I wonder? And then they had an ending with Ben Affleck, that's gone. Then they had an ending with Jason Momoa and Supergirl, that's gone. Betting on the dragon fights. The new ending is stupid. And it doesn't even really, like, James Gunn is like, oh, we're doing everything we can to, like, make it so the Flash movie resets everything. Yet you still have Aquaman coming out. And it's like, the Aquaman movie, I've heard nothing but bad things. Amber Heard, they gave her 20 minutes of screen time. 20 minutes. Where before they cut down her screen time to 5 minutes. Now she has 20 and her scenes are cringe. Before they actually had a reason why she wasn't around. She gave birth to Aquaman's son. Now it's like, I don't even know if she even gives birth to his son. I don't even know if Aqua Baby is still in it. Like, the rewrite that they did when they brought Batman into the movie and they made Aqua Baby was better. Like, it's almost like they went back to what originally happened before the trial with um, Johnny Depp or something. They just completely went and wrecked the movie to the point where Jason Momoa doesn't even want to be Aquaman anymore. He's He has a feeling that the Aquaman movie is going to be so bad that he just doesn't want to be the Aquaman role anymore. He wants to be Lobo. That's not a good thing. They can't. They they can't change the ending of the Flash. They just uh, Zaslav isn't gonna. Even if the test screenings are abysmal, he's not gonna. They have four different endings they could use, and like they're gonna use this other one. That's stupid. 
because it, it doesn't really reset the universe. It's just kind of like one of those lame endings like in, uh, um, whatchamacallit, the Josh Whedon Justice League with Superman and Flash like doing the race. It's one of those like really dumb, kind of lighthearted things that doesn't make any sense. I believe actually George Clooney is the end, the ending scene, if I remember correctly. And it's just something really stupid about like George Clooney Batman. No, no, it's just like the movie was really dark, and then they have a to show that the multiverse still exists or something. With it, it, it just it's dumb. Just trust me, it's dumb. If they keep that ending, I'm not saying that they can't have the cameo with George Clooney, like, and put that somewhere in the movie, like, when they're doing the different multiverse stuff. But, like, to have that as, as, as like, a an ending scene or a, whatever they call it, mid credit scene or something like that, it's stupid. The castle must have been quite stately. In well, yeah, not only does it give people post-traumatic stress because of Batman and Robin, but other things, yeah. Other things. It's like, before, it was like, people were kind of hopeful, like, oh my gosh, we're gonna get, like, a Final Crisis movie or something. Nope. Because Ben Affleck doesn't have an ending. Ben Affleck now, everybody was so worried about everybody being erased in The Flash. And it's like, and they were like, oh no, 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 that's not gonna happen, because Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, they'll be back someday with Final Crisis. And now it's like, oh no, no, Barry, Barry basically murders his entire old universe. <laughs> So, Ben, Ben is gone. Henry's gone. Gal will come back, but she'll be a different Wonder Woman. Uh, it just, I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of costume they'll give Gal for Wonder Woman, but she's basically strong-arming them. Like, uh, she's not going to let them recast her or something. She's like, she's going to be like one of the only, um... DCU characters that's going to reprise her role along with Margot Robbie. That'll be it. Because Jason Momoa isn't going to be Aquaman anymore, supposedly. He's going to be Lobo. Ezra Miller may or may not be The Flash. And Ben Affleck is gone. Henry Cavill's gone. Ray Fisher's gone. It's going to be a new Batman actor, a new Superman actor. The only person who's going to remain from the old DC Universe is really going to be uh, Gal Gadot. Unless somehow they get her... Because she's got a pretty big contract still. They'd have to pay out her entire contract. Which would be very expensive. And we all know Zaslav's not going to do that. Because he's a cheapskate. They'd have to buy out her contract. And Warner Brothers doesn't have any money. I'm predicting that Shazam, Flash, Aquaman, and Blue Beetle are all going to be major bombs for DC this year. Like, I think Blue Beetle is going to do okay, but it's not going to be, like, a major blockbuster, like, sell. I think The Flash is going to be abysmal. Um, just because, like, most people are going to see it, and they're going to say the first and second arc is really good, but the third arc is terrible, and the ending is terrible. And that's going to get people to be like, oh, I don't want to see this. The Shazam movie is n not much better. And the Aquaman movie is just, like, they don't even know what to do with Aquaman anymore. So, I mean, it's, it's it's over. Like, you know, they have to reboot everything because they ruined everything. They could have saved it. Mm-hmm. They could have just gotten an unknown. Unknown. <sighs> How many women are literally... There are so many beautiful women that work for the modeling industry. It's like, it's like, If that's it. I mean, they had another uh, Warner Brothers actress. The the lady who had good chemistry with Jason Momoa, who worked with him in um, Game of Thrones, would have made a good Mara. And she's a she's a Warner Brothers actress, but Zaslav, in his infinite wisdom, which we know is not infinite wisdom, um, he didn't want to pay an actress to, you know, reshoot Mara's scenes. He didn't. So yeah, the current draft of Aquaman, which they could still they they have they they have time to fix Aquaman. 
But they're probably not going to because Jason Momoa cut off his hair. So they would have to give him an ugly Aquaman wig. He chopped off his hair. I don't know if he did it out of protest or what he did, but he cut his hair. Because he's done with Aquaman. Um, I guess you could give him... I guess you could give him a wig. I don't know. Yeah, Lobo has long hair, so I guess he didn't see the, think that through. I have no idea. It's just the, the the more the more I keep hearing about the old DC universe, it's just such a mess that it's just kind of like I get exhausted just like trying to be supportive of it because I just don't care anymore. I'm really getting to the point where like these comic book movies. I've heard Ant-Man is a huge disappointment, and it's like, I I liked the Ant-Man movies, but they basically said, not to give away story spoilers, but they pretty much said that the movie doesn't follow the same tone as the other Ant-Man movies. Like, the Ant-Man movies had, like, a clear set um, way of doing things that, that worked for Ant-Man. It didn't work for MCU movies, but Ant-Man, it had, like, its own rhythm. They completely threw out the rhythm of the Ant-Man movies, and they made it an MCL, M MCU movie to build up future MCU movies. It's like just like episode one in like a saga or something like that. It's not like, this is Ant-Man 3, this is what you're used to with the format of Ant-Man. A little bit of levity, some, you know, meme jokes, some, uh, you know, basically let the actor, what's-his-face, do his thing. He's kind of funny, sometimes he's kind of serious. Really not a lot of that. So, I mean... Whatever. Yeah, Paul Rudd. Whatever his name is. Um, they just... They made it... They made it like a big MCU thing to, to be the first chapter in their next wave. And they tie it into the, uh, the next Loki season or something like that. So it's just... I don't know. It, it doesn't feel like... And supposedly they're doing the same thing with Guardians of the Galaxy 4 or three or whatever is it's it's going to tie into a bigger thing so it will be the end of the guardians of the galaxy but it's going to tie into something bigger like the fantastic four or something else it's it's not going to feel like its own standalone goodbye to these characters that you grew to love for like four pictures or something like that because i i count that holiday movie that came out as like another guardians of the galaxy um movie or special or something that was actually pretty good it, like the it was way Way better than I thought it was going to be for a holiday special. Well, no, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do like these, um, you know, final stories for these other characters, you don't want to build up characters that aren't even associated with your movie. Yeah, why would you tie in brand new characters? It it makes sense, like speaking, you know, just so people know, like in in Shazam, it makes sense that Gal Gadot shows up in in the new Shazam movie because they're battling villains that are associated with you know, Greek mythology. So it, it makes sense that she comes in and she's in the movie for a little bit. Um, but just to have like some of these other characters randomly appear in the Ant-Man movie that had no connection to the Ant-Man story and they're just kind of popped in there. Kind of like, like how Michael Keaton just shows up in the Morbius movie spouting nonsense. <laughs> like, he's just kind of there and then he ruins the Morbius movie because he's just like, they just plop Michael Keaton in there. Oh, we got an annoying bot. But don't you think that was funny the way they put Falcon in? <sighs> yeah. Like that was tastefully done because it kind of showed it was funny in a way because it showed that they. This is why I really wish YouTube could just IP ban people that you don't want. Like if they could just IP ban someone, then it's like they can't access YouTube anymore, regardless of how many fake accounts they make. It's just annoying. And then we got somebody spamming, like, their uh, stupid YouTube channel. Uh, oh, the, the, this stream is lame. Go watch this terrible streamer, blah, blah, blah. It's like, uh, okay. 
Vaughn, where is the, um, where's the Merlin stuff? I'm trying to do the, the rest of the Merlin. Yeah, it. That was funny. But I thought in Thor four, like I really thought the Guardians of the Galaxy were gonna have this big role and they were gonna get to do all this adventuring together. They're only in his movie for like maybe what five minutes. I was really hoping that the Guardians of the Galaxy were gonna have like this big fun adventure with Thor, but no. They teased it though. They're like, yeah, Thor's gonna do all this stuff with us, and it's like awesome. I want to see a Guardians of the Galaxy movie with Thor. It's like no. Never happened. They teased it. And maybe they went on adventures. I don't know, but we didn't get to see it. He probably could have gotten Chris Hemsworth to, to be in his, uh... Be in a Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Marvel didn't let him. Because Marvel... You have to understand, with Marvel... They have a set thing in stone. This is what James Gunn was saying. But this is exactly what James Gunn is doing with his new DC Universe, though, is everything is going to be connected. But that's a great idea. However, maybe there should be some leeway. Like, if people really like a certain character, and the audience is going crazy for them, it might be good to be able to edit it a little bit. Nah. More Merlin quest. Oh, okay. Right, I'm glad you got to eat your bean salad. Oops. Zelda's fast asleep. But I mean, if if James Gunn was allowed to do his thing, then I guarantee you he, he you know, wouldn't have added a lot of MCU stuff, and maybe he could have had Thor hang out in one of his movies or something, but he didn't really get that option. I do like how with the Guardians, how basically they took like this this group of misfits that's not very well known, and they made them household names. Like I really respect that from the MCU. Like the the Guardians of the Galaxy were some of my favorite MCU characters, outside of like Captain America and Spider Man. Like, and I mean, I I wanted to like Hulk, but Hulk is just unrecognizable in the MCU. He's just kind of a joke. Yeah, now he's like the Edward Norton Hulk movie was good. She-Hulk, yeah, I didn't like what She-Hulk did with Hulk. Oh, is this another one of those grab these and bring this here type thing? Yeah. I don't care if women make fun of men, as long as they make fun of women, too. Like, if you want to make a comedy show... See, back in the 90s, if you had a comedy show where it was the woman that was, like, the star, not only did she poke fun at men, but also she poked fun at things that women did, and as well as the show showed things that women did that were, you know, something that you could poke fun at. But today, it's like, when they make a show like that, becomes kind of like a, a female power trip where they don't make fun of women, they just make them look like the superior race. So, I mean, you know, it's just kind of like, I don't mind if you laugh at both sexes, but, you know, just constantly berating and making fun of the dudes when it's like, women have faults too, and things that, you know, a talented writer could actually make fun of, especially with She-Hulk. Um... No, not wife jokes. Just things in general that women do, that I'm not gonna get into because you know, you're you're here. But <laughs> no, it's okay. 
Um, like how women talk to each other and things like that. Uh, but they just went out of their way to just make it so that, you know, She-Hulk better than Hulk. Hulk dumb. And then it's like they could have used the opportunity to kind of build up on, like, doing uh, the World War Hulk show or Hulk something. And maybe they will, but it's just like... I think people are kind of tired of the Bruce Banner character because he really didn't get to mm, be Hulk as much as people wanted him to. Like, I feel bad for Hulk fans. Sounds like a sensible idea, Luke. Well, sensible doesn't work nowadays. Common sense doesn't work. Like, my way of thinking is considered toxic and bad when it's just common sense. That's the craziest thing about the 2020s, is common sense thinking is considered wrong think. Well, you could make fun of things that girls do, such as, like, um, but you could over-exaggerate it as female. Mm-hmm. Yep, she could eat like an ice cream store yeah, after a bad breakup or something, yeah, but they never did that. Funny that girls do. Like, yeah, exactly. Merlin trials, more Merlin. Yep. Uh, up, up, and away! I'm just going crazy with all these Merlin trials. Uh -huh, da, da, da. Um, just so you guys know, I might take a break from um, Hogwarts until Sunday, <laughs> so I can focus on Kirby and finishing, um, because I don't want to have too many series going at once. So, I think, like, I'm gonna take a break with Hogwarts until Saturday, that way we can finish, um, uh... Marvel Midnight Suns tomorrow. Get as much done of Kirby as possible. And um, then do Tails on Saturday. Maybe do Metroid on Saturday. That way I we have time to pick out a winner as well. Um, because it's, it's very hard for me to, to pick out a winner right now. Which I, I have a rough idea who um, who won the contest, but uh, again, reading stuff with the the eye strain right now is very 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 difficult. Like I I literally look like a pirate right now because I have like one eye closed. Yeah, I'll probably just pick a random person on the stream. Yeah. I'm not trying to be sus. I'm always sus. You got yourself some ice cream? There you go. Chocolate ice cream or the berry ice cream? Or the cookies and cream? You don't like cookies and cream? Hmm. Okay. Uh... Where is... How do they expect you to do that? It's all down there? Well, why are they all down there? Oops. Blah! Also, they could have done some humor with... Hang on. Um, thank you for the super chat, uh, Trayvon. That's cool you like CW shows. I used to watch The Flash a long time ago. I may end up watching the finale of the... Or the series finale of uh, The Flash. But, I mean, I, I saw... <laughs> I don't want to get into it. They had a clip of uh, the return of um, the second Batwoman... And she's playing the Red Death, which is a 
basically in one universe, Bruce Wayne becomes a speedster, and he's like a really bad guy. So they, they have um, <laughs> they have Ryan Wilder back. Um, and uh, she's um. The, I don't know who the Flash character is, but there's some, like, probably member of Team Flash that's here with, uh, the Red Death, and the Red Death re re removes her mask, and she goes up to him, and the person's like, who are you? And she's like, I am vengeance! And I just, like, I, I kind of, it was supposed to be a serious moment, and I fell out of my chair laughing. So I was just like, oh my gosh, CW, had one job. Because they made her, they made her the Batman. They made her the Red Death character. Because they they can't have a male Batman in the CW. Not a living one. They can have a dead male Batman, but so. But the problem is, I don't care if they made her character the Red Death. They gave her such. Either she had bad delivery of the line, or the writing was bad. Because it it's not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a comedic. It's a big reveal that she is the Batwoman character, coming back you know, after her show was canceled. <laughs> and no, it's not that she was saying it like she was a dude. She just said the line terribly. The line is supposed to be "I am vengeance," like something to terrify the guy. And she's like, "I am vengeance," <laughs> but it just—it sounded so stupid. It's like, what is this, the comedy hour? This is the finale, this is like the series finale of The Flash. You had one job, everybody was excited to see the Red Death, and then once again, the CW ruins it. It's like, why? Why do you hate DC fans so much? Uh, yeah, the Red Death is a serious character. Well, it used to be. Rebellion. Not anymore! <laughs> oh, gosh. You can watch the clip for yourself, but it's like, I, I, I laughed so hard. Oh. It sounded funny when I said it. I, I don't have, like, a very womanly, uh, w womanly charm of saying that line. Her eyes kind of did look like they were bugging out when she said the line. And she's supposed to be intimidating this guy. It's like, if I was the guy who she was doing the line, I'd, I'd probably take a couple takes, because I'd be laughing. I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, are you being serious? It'd be like, ah, cut! Another take! Sorry, is is she being serious? Maybe we uh, she could dub the line and just, like, you know, grab me by the collar and hoist me up or something, something Batman-like. Cause you know the 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 if she's trying to be Robert Pattinson, I don't think it's working out very well. Uh, mm. We will need the back credit card. I don't know what the the Clooney says something in uh, the Flash. Either he says I'm Batman and. Um, like, hi, Flash, I'm Batman, and Ezra's just like, no, you're not Batman. He's like, I am Batman. It's just something stupid, because he's the... He's the corny... He's the corny Batman, right? So he has to say something campy, because that's what people expect of him. I don't know what the line's gonna be, though. No, I mean, he's trying... He's trying to make amends for the stuff he did badly. Rebellion. But I mean, it's it's gonna be. <sighs> no, they don't have Gene Paul Valley. They don't. They don't even have. Um, they don't. They don't even have a uh, 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 Bruce Wayne's dad as um, the Batman. Because essentially, it's Flashpoint, except. Let's see, Owl Man. You're gonna see CGI Christopher Reeve, you're gonna see Gal Gadot in the movie, Linda Carter, Adam West CGI. Adam West and Burt Ward CGI, I believe, unless they took it out. Wow. There was one test screening where Adam West and Burt Ward were like, 
climbing up the side of a building or they were on a rooftop and Flash like comes by and Burt Ward who did the voice says something and Adam West is standing there and he says like either Great Scott or something else and it sounds like Adam West but obviously it's not I mean he's, he's gone and Christopher Reeve's Superman is shown in the movie either in... I forget. He's either in the... Um, what do they call that place that the Flash is in? Speed Force. He's either in the Speed Force or he's in his own Metropolis, like 78. I don't know. Like, I still haven't been told what, like, all the different, like, cameos are. Because, like, some of them are supposed to be big secrets and some of them are, like, literally 30 seconds long. Like, the Adam West, Burt Ward cameo is like, 35 seconds. Well, we don't even know if it's still in the movie. We don't know if it's still in the movie or not, because the new test screenings, they cut out a lot of stuff. Um, the good Flash that I heard about was the one that happened in December that hadn't had Henry Cavill in it. But they took that out. There were two scenes with Henry Cavill. But does does James Gunn want to make money, or is he the, the the Marvel Hatchet Man? Is he is he really here to help DC, or is he because because um, in the original Flash movie, Wonder Woman saves um, Batman and Flash from like some type of metahuman threat, and then they have like this you know fun scene in the Batcave, and then later on, the Justice League goes out for drinks, and. Uh, the scene consisted of uh, Aquaman, um, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Ben Affleck. And then Ben Affleck and uh, Barry exit the bar, which you can still see the bar. But the bar scene now, it consists of Bruce hanging outside with potentially Gal Gadot in the car. Like, waiting for Bruce to get back in the car because they're going somewhere. Hinting at a relationship. And then, like, the... Um, the other scene, which was really good, which I don't know if it's still in or not, was them all in the Batcave with just the four of them. Gal Gadot, uh, Ezra, um, Jeremy Irons, and uh, Ben Affleck. Like, after the battle, they were all hanging out in the Batcave. Alfred! Jeremy Irons had at least, like, four minutes in the Flash movie. I think he was cut. How could it be cut? Because they cut down Ben Affleck scenes. Yep, Superman had two scenes. He had a scene at the beginning of the movie, and then he had a scene at the end of the movie where Ezra finds him inside of the, uh, the Speed Force. Like, oh, that's where you've been! And Henry says something and the, follows Ezra out of the Speed Force, which is actually kind of stupid, but his... Um, there's no reason that he couldn't... This is what I don't understand. Like, the battle in in um, uh, Flash's city at the beginning of the, the Flash movie, whatever it's called. Um, I always get him confused. Is it Central City or Keystone City? I don't know. The The city where the Flash is, where they, they show Batman on the motorcycle with the um, flying fox. There's no reason that they couldn't keep Superman in that fight. Now the fight goes back to what it was before Henry Cavill was involved, which is just... Wonder Woman, Batman, and Flash. And Wonder Woman literally shows up at the end to kind of save Barry and Batman from getting killed. From a seismic attack. Zaslav and Ben Affleck's uh, disagreement was over salary. He didn't want to pay Ben Affleck his salary. He didn't agree on it originally because Ben was only going to be in uh, The Flash. This was they were talking about like including him in other things. Like he did the cameo for Aquaman. He got paid two hundred seventy five thousand. Um, and that was done by. Yeah, he cut him out of everything, even Why though he already he paid him. I don't know. He's not. He's not a very like. I think the guy's a very good TV executive, but he's kind of an idiot when it comes to film stuff. Yep, TV is different than film. 
Yep, you can you can replace the cast, you can lower cast salary on TV, you can get more episodes or less episodes, but film is a completely different thing that David Zaslav and his team knew nothing about. Also, I'm mad at David Zaslav's team because they had a verbal contract with Henry, and Henry was dumb enough to agree to a verbal contract to come back for Black Adam and other things when they wouldn't even take the time to actually write out a contract for him. Well, like, if I was Henry, they <laughs> when I appeared in Black Adam, it'd be like, I'm not doing this unless there's actually a written contract. Yeah, because, because if he had, that if he had the, the written contract, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of him. Yeah. That's why they're having a hard time getting rid of Gal Gadot is because she's under contract. So she has to show up again after the Flash because she's still contracted. And like I said, Zaslav is too cheap to buy out her contract. Because they would have to buy her out. Well, the studio originally wanted Ben. Um, but... Ben walked away from the role and then he had a really great time on The Flash and then he came back but like he didn't do anything contract wise yet because he didn't know who the bosses were going to be so it wasn't like right he didn't know like if Walter Hamada was going to stick around he didn't know who was going to be what so he didn't really you know, do anything contract-wise until, I think it was, he met up with Warner Brothers either it was at the end of November or the beginning of December to discuss new contracts, and that's when Zaslav had his little hissy fit. Of course Zaslav's a jerk, he's a New Yorker. But see, I had this idea, even though he's a jerk, that at least he would know how to make money. And all he's done since getting uh, Warner Discovery is he's lost. Now it's close to four and a half billion dollars in six months. And he has like the fan base worldwide mad at him over Henry Cavill, over Ben Affleck. If they lose Gal Gadot, DC Films is finished. Regardless of if they, um, you know, if they, uh, whatchamacallit. If they, like, cast new people or whatever. Because her fan base is huge. And, um, she's the only thing tying to the old universe. Like, really. And she's a really good Wonder Woman. Like, she's got that exotic feel. She's a good actress. Um, she can do the stunts as well. She does make Wonder Woman feel like she's kind of real. She has, like, kind of that Linda Carter thing, except Linda Carter... All she did was kind of just spin around and stuff, and Gal Gadot is a martial artist and a stunt woman all in one. So, I mean, it's she's kind of was born to play Wonder Woman. The problem is they need to get Gal Gadot better writers for her next Wonder Woman movie because you can't have Patty Jenkins attached to it because Patty Jenkins is insane. The writer of the first Wonder Woman movie was Jeff Johns. The writer of the second Wonder Woman movie was Patty Jenkins. And also, Zack Snyder's wife was kind of like a co-producer of the first Wonder Woman movie, so she probably had input of the film. The Snyders were not involved with the, um, the second movie. Jeff Johns wasn't really heavily involved with the second Wonder Woman 84. He did some rewrites of Patty's script. But he was mostly busy with um, Star Girl and something else, so he wasn't as invested into the second Wonder Woman movie as he was the first one. So there was there was a lot of problems with the second movie that they really couldn't fix. And of course, you couldn't tell Patty Jenkins to fix anything because she's a woman. Yeah. So I mean, uh... exactly. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love that move. 
Oh, so, um, people, the spiders have really had a toll on me. I don't know if Amber told you this story, but the other night, apparently, Amber was sleeping peacefully, and I woke up in the middle of the night screaming that I was being attacked by spiders, and there was no spider there, and uh, obviously Amber and I weren't really doing anything either, because I thought I was actually hanging out and talking with Amber, but there was no... I was fast asleep and I woke up freaking out that there were spiders all over me. So... I threw the blankets off. <laughs> get it off! Get it off! So it was, it was in my subconscious for a while. I apparently I had a nightmare. It was in giant spiders. I was too scared to go back to sleep. I know that. I don't want to go back to sleep. Uh, I think it'd be a lot easier to find these balls if I like. Um, uh, I went. I strayed too far. We're gonna we're gonna make it light out because I can't see anything. I know. Changing the time of day. Oh. Yeah, I had a I had a spider nightmare. Yeah. And you still kept trying to get the ball. Yeah. Uh, that's true, Twin. Also, uh, James Gunn was writing the the Superman movie without Henry Cavill in mind for the to begin with, so it's a huge mess. What the heck is that? Are you seeing that, guys? Yeah. Is that a dragon? I see a dragon. What is that? Like a dragon to me. That I I don't know what that is. We're gonna go see what that is. I don't know what that is. I wonder if you can get a dragon mount. It's kind of goofing off. Ugh. DC talk. Like yeah, it looks like it's yeah taking a bath or something. Either a dragon or an enchanted statue. I don't think it would be an enchanted statue. We're gonna go see what this is. It looks pretty big, whatever it is. I know. I'm going up close to it, though. Oh, wow. It's made of... It's it's a plant. It's an enchanted plant. Shrubbery. It's made of shrubbery. <laughs> it's very nice, shrubbery. What happens if I set it on fire? Huh. Okay, well, I've never seen this before. So that was interesting. Hello, Mr. Dragon. It's a plant dragon. Yeah. You can make it spew leaves. <laughs> you can't... You can't- I'm kind of glad you can't burn it, because I think that would be terrifying. Mm. Uh. It's just a- it's harmless. I mean, I- I was hoping you could fight more dragons in this. Dragons have only shown up like once or twice. But I used to see a dragon flying around. That's the DLC I'd put in this game. Fighting a dragon. Be interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, but what's-his-name can't say he said that uh henry has been pushed around but that's exactly what james gunn did 
James Gunn's like, oh, I feel bad for Henry because Henry's had such, like, you know, he's been pulled around by the studio. It's like, but you did the same thing. You were even designing your movie without him in mind. Like, you can't, you can't be like, oh, yeah, I, I totally feel for Henry. It's like, you were doing the same thing. Like, it, it's, it's not the same. I made the thumbnail look better, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to get these to come with me. Come with me, bowls. Magical, mystical bowls. Well, no, I've been I've been playing this. This is my 29th stream. How often have we run into giant spiders? It's in my subconscious. When I played the EDF game, I fell asleep. I was editing Arkham upstairs in the office. I remember this. And uh, Amber was downstairs or in her little beanbag room. And I, I woke up shrieking because in my dream I was being attacked by a giant spider. Now, where did the giant spider come from? Playing Earth Defense Force, which had giant mutated spiders i have arachnophobia because the reason why i can't just like get over it is because i have actual physical trauma associated with spiders because when i was in college i was in a dormitory and um i was sleeping peacefully which is very hard to do in college because my roommates were jerks it was one of the nice nights that i had um it was a good day. I had a good day at work. Uh, my grades were up. Uh, I talked to my grandpa on the phone that day. I was going to actually be going up to Peekskill, my hometown, that weekend. You know? And I was going to get to hang out with my grandparents and work the hot dog cart. Uh, it, was, it was all good. My jerky roommate thought it would be funny to take somebody's live tarantula pet from downstairs because we were all like discussing our fears for some stupid reason it was a workshop of trust Seems a pleasant enough little and i went to sleep and this this tool thought it would be funny to throw a live tarantula on my chest while i was sleeping and i woke up now i was on the top bunk so what happened when i woke up is i was in a state of shock i leaped and smashed the spider on my chest on top of the ceiling and I was in shock so bad that I had to be taken to Albany General Hospital. And I was 19 or 20 years old. So that is where my fear of spiders comes from. It is a deep-seated fear that is very hard to get over because I literally had something while I was completely defenseless and not ready for. That's why I have like a, an intense fear of spiders that doesn't go away. It's because it comes from a trauma that's, you know, when someone is sleeping, you're in a, a state of trust. You're in a state of safety. My safety was ripped away from me from that tool bag. So, you know, he was, he was a very, very bad person. The only good thing about that event is the person who did that is no longer alive. You know? I can't say that he didn't deserve what happened to him later in life, because he was not a nice person. But at least I get some closure knowing that he's not around to torment people anymore. But yeah, that's why I don't like spiders. Is I, you know, I had a small fear of spiders, but then it became enormous fear of spiders. And it's just, I can't get over it. And I spent lots of money in counseling, too. Didn't help. All it did was drain my bank account. So, yeah. That's why sometimes I just, you know, wake up in the middle of the night shrieking. Is because I have that. Amber is like my best security blanket against stuff because, like, I'm very calm when we go to sleep. Usually. But, like I said, we've been doing this game for almost like 30 streams now, so... In the back of my mind, there's going to be some spider trauma. If there's spiders in the Zelda game... Ugh. 
In which I've heard there might be some. Um, that could be a problem. So, yeah. That's, that's, that's that. Uh, I thought I did some of these already. It's kind of hard to find these ball thingies. Just all over the place. Come with me. Oh, my eyes are lit up. That's kind of freaky. I do look like a Dark Souls character now. Look, my eyes, Amber, are like all orange. Like I have like a spirit eye or something. Well, that's kind of fun. No, that's okay. Oh no, you're fine. What was that? The train? I thought I heard it. I hear a train? How did they end up there? How did you guys end up way down here? I need you to come with me. Come on. Gotta take you up. Take you back up. Okay. Sammy wants to tell me a joke. What is Red Hood's favorite fairy tale? Uh, would it be? I don't know. What would it? Be? Red Riding Hood? Really? Okay. I I guess I could see that. That's pretty clever. Yeah, well, that dude abused me all the time. He was a... He was a nasty human being. Nasty, nasty dude. He was given the choice of going to college or going to prison. He chose to go to college. Would have been better off for a lot of us if he actually went to jail instead of doing college for his community service. But whatever. He liked to torture people for fun. Which he called pranks. I'm going to use force powers. You know, I've gotten these Merlin things under control pretty easily now. Force push! Oh, wait! People like talking to you. Wouldn't that be more of a Tim Drake, co uh, like, joke though, Sammy? Like, what is? It would be like, what is Tim Drake's favorite restaurant? And then you'd be like, Red Robin. Get it? Because he's called Red Robin. Ambie, the kitty's gone. Are you going upstairs or...? Oh, keys. I don't know what you want me to do. I really... It's okay. What? Cute kitty. I don't know why you're taking her way down like that. I don't know, because I'm, I'm kind of slow with things. Uh, I don't think there's many Merlin things left. Like, there's going to be no Merlin things left. going to be no Merlin. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay. Up, up, and away! I want to know if you can actually ride the train. 
Like, there are some games where you can actually stand on top of a train or you can get hit by a train. I, I know, no. Nope. I know you have. And I don't know either. You're the one doing it. I know. I, I know. I know. Why did you move to the mm, I wanted to roll for you. Insane. I am insane. That's why I pet my cat. I'm Blofeld. It makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. Aren't I Blofeld Zelda? Yeah. Revelia. No, she's not feeding you again! <sighs> Traitor! I get what I deserve, says Amber. Mm. I know, honey. Zelda the cat. I was gonna call her a wonderful cat, but she left, so... Alright, so where is the giant ball? I know, I... Ambi, I know. Is someone there? Hello? There's a voice coming from that well. Magical well. Okay, sweetheart, love you. Thank you for being down here for a little bit. Streams tomorrow are, um, Kirby, Kirby, and then finale of, uh, um, it's the venom. Oh, yeah. himself would be proud. Yep. I have all the Kirby thumbnails done, I just don't have the Venom thumbnail done. That's fine. Alright guys, let's talk to the magical well. I wanna do something different. Magical well. Should have attended to the sick and left the well alone. Ma Oops. Magical well. Hi, Jessica. Alright, so we did another Merlin thing. I want to see this magic well thing. I'm very curious what type of quest that would detail. Hello, Magic Well! Can you help me? Is someone down there? Down there? Oh, beg your pardon. I'm here. There's no one here but me. Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and he caught. If you could please take it. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't like these map things. Uh, where on earth is that? It's not a very good drawing. Seems to be some sort of map. You will. Oh, at least better than it did me. Zelda.
Um, till I hit a thousand. I know. I know, Amber. Nothing, honey. I really hope you have a good night, okay? So there was a, a map inside of a magic well. Zelda! Bad kitten. Why can't she obey the rules? Because she's a bad kitten. How about some sightseeing? You don't do well with puns? Well puns are the best kind. Yeah, I know, honey. Get me out, get me out. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Puns are the best. Mm hmm. Slow down now. There we go. I know. I know that. Check your pockets after you're dead. I want you on the video. I'm fine. I wanted her to be on the other side of me. She was squirming around too much. My night's not ruined. I'm having a nice night. I know. You too. Rebellion. Who's that guy? Oh! That's a magic snowman. That's kind of neat. Hello, magic snowman. Ah, so you got scared because of a television thing. I see. Um, I mean, everybody has, you know, gets fears from different things. Mine is, uh, you know, different than yours. Thank you for the super chat. Can I melt the snowman? Would that be terrible? Oh my gosh! Placium. 
Wow. I should be, yeah. Uh, I'm going to bed it after the stream. Because my eyes hurt. Okay. Honey, I, I really can't hear you right now. I can't hear you right now. I can't hear everything you're saying. No, you already did me a favor, Amber. Thank you. Stop tormenting the snowman? It was fun. I resurrected the snowman too, so it's all good. I know, sweetie. Go, go, have a good sleep. The only way I can help is if you come down here and do the stream for me while I look for it. Okay, then why don't you come switch with me? Nobody does. I use a flashlight. That was a magical snowman. Five minutes. Call it snowman fun. Well, that was kind of cool. Can I make other snowmen magically? Or the snow... No, we have tons of it in the office. Well, maybe not tons, but we have enough. Honey, if, if you want me to look for your thing, I, I need you to... The beast is safe now. Right. I know I'm gonna check both places. Flashlight. I have a flashlight on my phone. Nope, for five minutes. That's how I usually find it. It was snowman fun, guys and gals. Played with a snowman. It was fun. I mean, you know, I burned him to the ground and then I resurrected him. It's kind of neat. Wasn't this supposed to turn to daytime? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, where is... Are there any other Merlin places? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's one right outside of Hogwarts. I never say the name of the school right. Snowman's fine. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this.
just run around. How would you randomly find something? You don't even know. I could have wrapped it up in... Thank you. Thank you, Trayvon, for the super chat. All right, Luke's going to help me find what I need before I go to sleep because I can't find it, and I'm without gonna, it, I can't get to sleep. Go look. Okay, well, I've never played this game in my life, so I'll That's probably die enough. in three seconds. That's okay if you die. I didn't hear you saying hi to the chat, though. I, I was talking. I was starting a snowman at the beginning of my Hello, chat. I thought, I thought you already said thank you to that. I don't remember. Well, I don't even have my chat on. When I was younger, I almost died in the swimming pool with my sister, and I didn't know how to swim. I almost died. I'm scared to death of water now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Trayvon. And thank you for the super chat, Christian. And thank you, uh... Oh, wow. When you were watching PBS, they zoomed in on a spider's face. Uh, oh, wow, Christian. Okay, Amber, you can hold L1 and press circle to fly in your broom. Um, oh, okay, thank you, um, thank you, Garrett, and good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Well, I was going to be on the stream the last hour, but I couldn't even be on the stream because Luke had the cat in my spot, which is more important than me, so, I don't know. Oh, thank you, okay, now... I'm afraid if I get out of whatever spot he's in, then um, then he'll be upset that I went the wrong, like, lost his spot. So I don't know what Luke expects me to do. Yeah, Luke is helping me find my mouth guard. I can't sleep without it because I'll, like, um, I won't be able to breathe, so. I can fall asleep without it, but I'll wake up with a huge headache and... Um, I won't really get any oxygen and it will be really bad. Mm. Alright, well, I don't know. I'm not very, I'm not, because I'm just exploring. I'm not doing anything very interesting. Um, my day has been alright. I haven't been feeling good today. I've just been pushing myself. I, I don't know. I was hoping I could get up early like tomorrow right and get some stuff book. done, but as usual, that's never going to happen because I, I had other things. As soon as I try to get to sleep, there's like a million things that happen. Um, my, I just try to get to sleep and my cat randomly went into the office, which I could never get her out of the office. She's just running around. and. But I hope you guys are having a good day. I mean, I've had a pretty good day. I'm glad Kirby came out. And, um, I'm just completely stuck here. My gosh. Okay, all right. Well, that's a pretty cool kite. I'm just, I, I, huh? Well, I can easily rinse it off, Luke. I just don't, I don't have it before. Are you going to come down here or what? Well, are you going to tell me where it is? What do you, where is it? Huh? Where did you put it in the in the room? I won't know where it is. If... Okay. Will I be able to see it or will I have to look for another hour? Huh? Okay. Well, what? How long do you want me to stream? Because I, I, I thought that if I move out of the place that you want me to be in, then you won't be able to find your spot. Okay. I guess I'll just stand here waiting. I don't... I can't really do anything since if I move, then I'll lose your spot. And then you'll be upset because I'm on the wrong spot. But I didn't know that. I'm, I have no idea. Where, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go anywhere since I didn't know if you needed... To, I didn't know if I would lose your spot, so I couldn't leave. I had to just stand there. I don't know what I'm doing either. But yes, you do. You're literally playing the game. I don't want to lose your spot because then okay. you'll accuse me of losing your spot. Honey, go to sleep. 
I was going to sleep. Okay. Then you moved the cat, and then you said, do you want to come over here? Um, okay. Your thing that you're looking for is on top of your dresser, in your room, or your nightstand, whatever you call that thing. You can't miss it. Okay? It's fine. Thank you very much for filling in for me. I didn't fill in for you. I ruined the entire thing because I had no idea if you didn't want me to leave the spot. What spot? Were there flying kites? I don't I don't even remember where I was going. Oh, I was going to a Merlin thingy, okay. I didn't remember what I was doing. Okay, so we'll go here. <laughs> uh I'm almost done with all the Merlin stuff now. Could it be? A Merlin trial? Yes, it's a Merlin trial. Ah, oh. Well that stinks. Hmm? Bottle. Water bottle? You mean she's doing squirty stuff? Hey, you! Gotcha. Now I have to sit here to appear normal. <laughs> You've <just laughs> you been sitting a long time. <laughs> just yeah, go to like sleep. I was sitting in Massachusetts for a long time. Ambi, go to sleep. What? This hurts? No. Okay. I think it's funny that. No. Yeah. Go to sleep, little one. I was going to quite a while ago. Now I have to go out of my way to be down here. Why? If I had to explain it, then it would be even worse than if I have to pretend to like it. I don't even know what that means, but okay. I don't know what's going on. Whoops. Okay, collect this. Uh, move over to the other one. Collect this thing. I don't even know what these plants do, to be honest. I know one of them is for Merlin stuff, but I don't know what the other ones are. Uh, okay. Back out to the world map. No. Yes. I think it was one of these. This one? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Go here. Cool. And teleportation. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you, Captain Sack. That's very sweet. Oh my gosh, why? Just work with me, eyes. There. I'm good. Coal section. Amber fills in. Seems a pleasant enough little place. <laughs> what? Uh, One fifty-three. Ah. 5355 Amber fills in Amber fills in Okay So where are you going now that you allowed me to be on the stream after an hour of me huh? watching you sit next to the cat when I wasn't allowed to sit here mm, Doing the remainder of the Merlin trials so that they'll be done and then on Sunday will be the finale of this game because there's literally Nothing left to do after you become Ravenclaw or Raven, whatever it is. They don't have as many quests as Hufflepuff or Slytherin or Gryffindor. They have the least amount of quests. So a lot of Raven players are finding that they don't have as much to do in the game as other players. Because there's more quest related for that kind of stuff. That's for them. weird. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's not that big a deal. I don't, I mean, I'm kind of happy the game's coming to an end because I'm ready for something else. <laughs> I've kind of, the fact that literally this game gave me nightmares, I'm, I'm ready to be done. <coughs> ready to move on to some other stuff. Uh, I just... Oh, no. Oops. Oh, good. It didn't drown. So we have to force push this. Force push. Force push. Basically all that's happening right now. Force push. Me either. So what is going on with the Merlin trials? Uh, These trials were set up by Merlin, supposedly. Merlin's pranking us, yeah. Why would he have time to set up trials if he was supposed to run the country and help King Arthur? 
fend off like all these evil people from taking but over did, the world. But did King Arthur exist in the Harry Potter world? King Arthur, I think he... I, would, I hope he would have existed in the Harry Potter world. Okay, last one. I mean, one otherwise then why would Merlin be around? His main job was to help King Arthur. I don't really understand. Yeah. That's true. Fun fact, did you know, well, I don't really know what it was, but I think it's like several different, like, uh, well, at least one, I don't know, but like, there's like a kind of a tradition of like, because of Merlin, people, like monarchs of England kind of look for like either, oh, uh, like prophets or like holy people or kind of like sorcerers or something means. to kind of like help them out. And like because they think it's like a Merlin thing, I was like think I think a uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth or something had some kind of like a uh, magician. Like a lot of uh, monarchs of England ended up wanting to have like a court magician because of Merlin. Mm. I thought it was like an English thing. Cool. Of course, that didn't really work out well for Russia when they had a court sorcerer. <laughs> oh, because of Rasputin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically frolicking. I'm just picturing like all that's missing right now is somebody behind me with some coconuts. I'm sorry, honey. My stomach hurts so bad. I know. It's time for bed. Can't be time for bed. I have to feel normal. You just said something normal. You you just did one of Amber's fun facts, and now it's time for you to go away. I believe, yeah. I don't even understand what you're doing. Frolicking. But I thought we were supposed to be progressing the story. No, I'm not doing that tonight. Yeah, um, I know Sunday. that... Yeah, guys and girls, um, thanks for asking about the PlayStation event on um, Twin and uh, everyone else. I... I don't know if I can do the PlayStation event tomorrow if I was feeling No, well. no, no. It's over. I know, but some a few people were saying I could no. stream it or like respond to it later. No. But I don't know if I we're would busy. get copyright. We're busy with Kirby. I probably could do it in the morning, but I don't even... I'm not feeling well, and I have been pushing myself to do two streams every morning for the past week, and I... I don't want to say I feel like killing someone, but I, I don't feel... Not only do I not feel good in my body, but I also don't feel good in my mind. <laughs> well, that's been a problem for a while. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. I'm pushing myself to the point where I no longer can push myself anymore, and if someone asks me to do one more thing, like... If, like, a mailman would be like, would you mind filling this form out, then I would... Be in danger of hurting someone because I just I don't. You can't, I can't say that. I can't do anything else. Like I'm way beyond. I'm done. Like I'm beyond. That's why all I wanted to do is for you to be like, my eyes feel fine and I'm ready for you to go to bed. Have a great night. But instead, you're just like, oh my gosh, my eyes, and I don't know how long I'm gonna be up. It's like. Well, not my problem. I guess I'm gonna go to sleep then. <laughs> Sucks to be you, because I've been pushing myself all week. <laughs> it's like, I hope you're not streaming until 7 in the morning for a thousand views, but if you are, not my problem. No, I'm not streaming in the morning. Nope. As soon as we hit a thousand views, or I finish the Marlin trials, I'm done. I finally got to make my bean salad, but... What basically, like, I had... <laughs> YouTube has taken... I don't want to explain how I'm feeling right now, but YouTube has taken so much money and hours from us that, like, I don't know how to read our bank account. I can't tell if we have, like, $2 in there or... Because I can't tell because of all the stuff that's coming out, all the... And I don't even want to look at the bank account. It makes me feel like crying all the time. So that's why I don't even look at it. I just go to the ATM and get the slip of paper. I can't even look at all the bills coming out. It makes me feel like crying. So I just go to the ATM. That's probably what I'm going to do in the morning. ATM doesn't make me cry. It just tells me a number. I mean, I cry every year I do taxes, so... 
Mm. But I still have to pay my school, and I can't even start uh, that. And, and mm, I haven't been calling. I haven't even been answering the people for my. Oh. For my uh. We hit a thousand views. I think I'm good. Great, me complaining made me hit a thousand views. <laughs> so yeah, don't ask, don't ask how I am. I'm not in a good mood. It's like I really tomorrow my my whole point is to relax, but I can't really relax since I know every minute I relax the views on YouTube okay. go down. All I wanted to do was relax tonight, but somebody the whole time I had to spend hanging out with Luke, Luke decided to hang out with the cat instead of me. Okay, honey. What? Just go to sleep. I was going to, but then you How do I get you to leave? Then you asked. I have to sit here for at least twenty minutes appearing normal and then I can go upstairs. I don't think it's succeeding. Well, you're the one who keeps asking me questions about how I am. I'm just trying to be nice. Um, I don't think asking how are you is a nice question. It's a mean, horrible question. No, it's not. It is to me. I don't like it when people ask me that question. Stop being a Sinatra, please. I'm thinking, why would you ask such a horrible question? Why would you bring up a horrible thing? Well, we have more inventory slots unlocked now. Instead of asking how I am, why doesn't somebody ask, have you had any pets die recently? Because that would be about the same thing. And yeah, there's actually been people who've had their pets sorry. pass away. That's not, sorry. that's not nice to say right now. That was rude. Yeah. All right, I'm doing one more Merlin trial, and then I'm calling it a night. I'll just sit here acting normal. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't even know what to call this. Merlin stuff. Uh... Yep. Words to live by, Garrett. Exactly. What? <laughs> People aren't going to say... I'm not telling you what they said. <laughs> I'm not going to look at the chat board. Or the thing. Pick up. <laughs> there you go. You'd be a lot happier. I was a lot happier before I started streaming because people always said rude things to me in the comments. No, he didn't say anything. Oh, no, I didn't say that Garrett said anything. Oh I just my said gosh. in general people always say mean things. People don't always say mean things. Yes, they do. I look back at our old videos, people say horrible things. Well, don't read old comments. I don't, but then when I read the chat, then you're like, what does the chat say? It says, wow, your wife is a moron. Could she ever shut up? Should I repeat I've, that? I've never seen the live chat. Say people that. used to say that all the time. All those people got banned. Those are the normal people that used to watch all our old videos. That's oh. probably why nobody even watches anymore because all the people that used to watch and comment no. horrible things every Amber, day started watching the live you know, streams. You know people. You know people can't watch because the channel's channel banned. It doesn't no. get notifications. What I can show you any live stream time? we've done today that will tell you it maybe had ten notifications or five or zero. It's not I the don't... same thing. I'm just... I... That's great, honey. I'm really excited about what you're doing next to this game. I'm just dragging marbles into holes. It's not very exciting. Wow, well, you're so smart. I'm so proud to be married to you right now. I'm just playing a game. But... Wow, you're a gamer. Wow. It's like the ultimate career. <laughs> it can be. And that's one down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to find balls and bring them to mm. holes. Really? Reveal to me magical balls. Yeah, basically Luke got up in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. and threw all the blankets, all the both of us, and was flailing around, and then he kept asking me, actually, that wasn't it. He, you didn't go, ah, and then fall asleep. No. You went over to me and you were like... Can you see it? Can you see it? You're like, it's on me, it's on me. So I had to like, look all over you, make sure you didn't explain it. And I was like, what? What's on you? Oh, that's weird. Why can't I end that? I thought I saw a big you want to know something creepy about the word creepy? No. I'll regret it. Well, you can just Google it up and figure out what the origins of the word creepy are. There you go. You'll think about it uh, someday. Goats. Rebellion. Oh, is this actually an easy one? 
Am I overthinking well, this one? it had something to do with spiders and demons, but I guess... No, thanks! Else. But it's kind of interesting that spiders and demons are related to the word creepy. Hey, where are they going? No! Well, my work here is done. Get back here, balls! Come with me! There we go. They're actually giant marbles. Merlin's marbles. I don't understand, like, are we still in the middle of the story? Like, how are we progressing the story by just moving these... It's side What's quest. the point of it? It's side quest. But why? Mm, because I don't want to end the story tonight. Because I'm not ready to start the winner. What does... I don't have the I don't know. What does this do, though? Uh... Like, just gives you some leaves? I don't understand. No. Uh, if you do Merlin's Trials, then you go into your gears, and mm -hmm. it'll say this. There are now 36 slots for gears. What would you do? <laughs> well, considering I ran out of gear slots, it's kind of a big deal. How did you run out of gear slots? Uh, yeah. Looks like you just have four pieces of armor. What are gears? I don't understand. What do you do with the gears? What, what does Wait, it do? Wait, YouTube, what did you do with my... I had my other stream all set up. Why? <sighs> always happens. Why did they do that? I had it all ready to go and they're like mm. Now I have to set up my Kirby stream again. I'll probably end up setting it up. No, I have to set it up before the end of this stream. Why? What do you mean why? Because people have to be redirected. But they won't even be able to go there until tomorrow. They do go there to, to, as soon afterwards and they hit the like button. Really? Yes! Oh, that's really nice. YouTube and dumbness. I just don't think Merlin would have the time to set these up because he was trying to save England at the time. I just don't think he would have the time. Probably not. He had way more important things to do. You're probably lying, Amber. It was probably just some prankster. No, oh, it's fine. They were Merlin. I mean, Merlin's supposed to have lived for a long time. Hmm. Merlin keeps getting... Uh, I watched a weird documentary of Merlin and Merlin keeps getting recreated. Like, they keep reinventing the legend of Merlin like over and over again. He goes back to the time of like the druids or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to symbolize like... Merlin is supposed to symbolize like basically wild... The wild Celtic culture of England versus like the modern sophisticated culture of England. Which is about, you know, like, I guess, Christianized society where everyone has to drink tea and have their pinky in the air. Merlin is symbolizes the, the guy that goes out in the woods and, you know, is able to understand and see the future. And it's like the wild spirit of the Celtic people of England. Merlin's which, the best. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Secret room. Ah! There. Okay, people. I'm spent. We got a thousand views. We did a ton of Merlin trials. The only Merlin trials that are left now is... Talents. Where is it? Is it collections? No. Exploration. Merlin trials left. Do math. So, 15. 15. 15 Merlin trials are all that remains. How are we ever going to get these done then? Oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to finish the Merlin trials. I'm just going <laughs> to finish the story. This was my last filler episode. Oh, this was a filler This episode? was filler, yeah. Because you have to hit level 34, so I'm level 31. I'm almost level 32. I thought you said you weren't going to try to lo hit level 34. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well, how would I... How would I... You said you would teach me how to... It's not... You can't progress the story. It, I don't want to progress the story. I meant, how do you grind in the game? How would you grind? I Doing the Merlin Trials is the only way that I've been gaining experience. Fighting enemies doesn't give experience anymore. Side quests so you could do... just putting balls into holes? That's like, a... I'll, I'll... See all these quests here? None of these I want to do. 
this well thing I don't care about. I don't care about this. 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 You have to teach me how to play it because this, I don't even know how to track the quest. I'm ending this on Sunday. This is the final level right here. The final repository is the last level. Mm. See how it's got your teacher guy there, and it's a, and, you know that's the final story level. So yeah, I want to be done. I want to move on to other stuff. I want to get back to my nightly streams of Metroid. I want to do uh, more Ultimate Selects. I mean, this game is the only thing that was bringing people to the channel, to be honest. And now Kirby's bringing people to the channel. And believe it is or not, it Tails is bringing people to the channel. Is it Luke, though? I mean, this game, I hate to tell you this, but this game is already, like... Dropped off in popularity. This game dropped off about four or five days ago. So, Tails and Kirby and Lego, all that stuff is what... People aren't here to watch Hogwarts anymore. Except for, you know, a few, like, maybe a hundred or two diehard people um, that help push the stream to get a thousand views. Like, it's... it's uh, it, I can see it dropping in popularity with every stream we do. Like, it's just kind of fizzling. Because everybody's mm -hmm. already beaten the game. Like, they did their nine, 16-hour streams... And we, we got, we did pretty well. Usually, you know, we got uh, 30, 30 some episodes would be the finale. Um, I probably would have ended it sooner, but I just wanted to enjoy my time with the game, and that's what I did. So anyway, people, that's it, that's all. You're going to be redirected to Kirby. Smash the like button over Kirby, set a reminder. That you'll, be have two, you'll have two Kirby episodes tomorrow, 5.30, 8.30. Venom will be at 10.30. And then uh, Saturday will be Tails, uh, K Kirby, Metroid. And then Sunday will be um, Kirby, One Piece, oh my God! and probably Metroid. Tomorrow's Kirby Kirby something. Kirby Kirby, uh, darn it. Kirby Kirby Venom, and then Kirby, Tails... Metroid on Saturday. Tomorrow's Kirby Kirby what? Kirby Kirby's Venom. Oh. I'm not doing a morning stream. Heck no. Okay. Alright. Night people. Uh, you'll be redirected to your next stream. Take care. Thanks for all the super chats. You guys are breathtaking. Thanks for the super chats and have a great night everyone. Put an amber to bed. Bye. Go to bed. <laughs>